Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lawrence and I am here with another recipe. The recipe is mutton curry recipe. This recipe is one famous recipe that our Indians love and I'm going to prepare this dish in a very simple way. So without wasting your time, I would like you to take you to the process of preparing this dish. Before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified on my next video. So here we have the ingredients. As you can see, I've got uh, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon of coriander powder. I use this store-bought mutton masala. I use this brand called Shakti mutton masala. I like it, but as you can use any mutton masala as long as it is available at your place. I'm using one tablespoon of chili powder and I have got uh, four pieces of elaichis and two pieces of star anise. I'm using four chilies. I'm gonna make it a little spicy. I use this uh, coriander stem because this has got a strong flavor which complements the mutton and I've got some curry leaves and I've got uh, three medium-sized tomatoes and two onions and of course I've got uh, one kg of mutton and I use this extra touch I have got this uh, rajma which I have been soaking it for say around five hours now and of course you would need the oil to prepare the dish so let's go ahead and prepare this dish the first step to proceed with this recipe is to marinate the chicken as you can see that you know I have washed the chicken and I have uh, added all the ingredients the chili powder the mutton masala the coriander powder ginger garlic paste and the salt so just add all the ingredients and marinate it for 20 minutes the longer you marinate, the better it is going to taste. Marination is one of the important process to have a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, curry, flavorful curry. So well, let's go ahead and marinate it for 20 minutes. So here is how it looks like, you know, I have mixed all the ingredients. Now I'm going to put it in the, uh, you know, fridge for say 20 minutes. And uh, meanwhile, we'll go ahead and uh, chop all the other ingredients that is required. So meanwhile, I just went ahead and chopped all the ingredients. Like I have chopped this uh, coriander stem and the tomatoes are finely chopped and I've got this chili, I've slightly opened it like, you know, uh, to have that extra spice released. I've got this curry leaves and I've chopped the onions. As you can see, the onions are thin and nice. So now we are ready to prepare the curry. So now I'm using a cooker, a medium sized cooker to cook uh, 1 kg mutton. So this is the cooker that I'm using and uh, let's go ahead with the preparation. The first ingredient that goes in is the oil. So let the oil heat up for at least a couple of minutes and uh, you know, the next ingredient will be those spices the whole spices the star anise and uh, the lychees just cook it for say a couple of seconds and then our next ingredients uh, ingredient is the curry leaves we just need that to cook for a couple of minutes again i'm sorry not minutes sorry couple of seconds say 10 seconds next ingredient is the onion the onion has to cook for a couple of minutes until it turns slight golden brown so you can see the uh, the onions are turning you know its color and uh, it's time for us to add the chilies so here you can see the onions have cooked 
pretty well they have turned slight golden brown now it's time for us to add the tomatoes and the corianders so let's go ahead and add the tomatoes here we go let's go ahead and add the coriander chopped we'll add the chopped coriander and we have to cook this for say until the tomatoes are soft and uh, the oil is separated uh, from all the ingredients here you can see the tomatoes have uh, cooked pretty well and you can see the oil is separated from all the ingredients now this is the time for us to go ahead and add uh, the marinated mutton I have added the mutton now we will also add the rajma that we had soaking for five hours as you can see I have added the mutton and the rajma and I've mixed it all well now we shouldn't add water immediately let this mutton or the meat cook for couple of minutes in the same oil and it will start releasing some water from the meat and then we will go ahead and add the water and close the lid so it's been uh, cooking for a couple of minutes now I can see the water uh, you know from the meat got released so now it's time for us to go ahead and add some water and uh, close the cooker and wait for two whistles as you can see that right now I have added uh, two medium I mean 200 200 ml of water the water shouldn't be too much you can see the water is just at the edge and you can also see the meat that's the level of water you need to add and just close the cooker for two whistles after two whistles just allow the cooker to calm down by itself and then we'll go ahead and open and show you the next process as you can see the cooker has blown two whistles and the meat is cooked but it is very watery so what we gotta do is cook it open for couple of minutes so that it becomes a little bit of gravy style as you can see that the uh, water is evaporated and now it's time that you know the mutton is cooked properly it's time for us to turn off the heat and now we'll go ahead and uh, plate it up as you can see this mutton is prepared and it's ready to serve this is one beautiful dish that you always have to try try it post your comments below and tell me what you feel about it until then bye before you go ahead and say bye can you please subscribe to my channel love it and share it like it and share it